Good morning, Oak Park School. This is your favorite anchorman, Coach Prov, and welcome to the Morning Raw. Today is Thursday, October 5th, 2023. Our special student guest for this morning's news is Willie. At this time, would you please stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Would you please remain standing for our Panther Pledge? Today I will be respectful, on task, accepting, and responsible. I am an Oak Park Panther. Hear me roar. You may be seated. Thanks for helping out this morning. We will now take some time to pause for a moment of silence. Use this time for your own personal thoughts, prayers, or quiet reflection. Hey Panthers, it's a new year with new challenges and one constant to deal with. Change principles around the nation have many new things to address to each school year. In October, we take some time to show appreciation during National Principles Month. Celebrated every October, National Principles Month is an opportunity for parents, students, teachers, and staff, and communities to celebrate and honor our incredible principles for their visionary leadership and tireless pursuit of success for each student. Today, PantherCast News wants to recognize our great principals, Ms. Jamie Lowitz, and our vice principals, Mr. O. O'Leary and Ms. Mayo, for all the hard work and dedication to the Oak Park School. Thank you so much for all you do. It's time for us to put on our lab coats and head to see the Literacy Lab. Let's see what's new for us today. Good morning, friends, and welcome to the Literacy Lab. I'm Patty Manson, one of your reading interventionists. This morning, we will be visiting another core board to see how we can tailor our tools to meet our students' specific needs that can also be location dependent. This is accomplished by using something called fringe words. The fringe area on a core board is an area where the symbols are specific both to either to a task or a location. For example, the fringe area is located here on any of the core boards, and that could be specific to the cafeteria, the playground, the bus loop, or the clinic. The use of a fringe area allows us to be consistent with the placement of frequently used communication symbols and then add specific symbols to provide more ways to be heard, share our needs or our feelings, and express what's going on without or with using our words. Let's go outside and see where we're communicating today. Bye friends and see you next time.
have something else to say? Well, thank you for helping me demonstrate the board. I am so happy that you came back to school today. Your tooth? Because you have tooth hurt too. Yeah. How are you? I'm feeling fine. We will end our morning news with Throwback Thursday, where we highlight a famous event that happened on this date in history. On this day in 1947, the first presidential speech to be televised in the United States was aired. We hope you have a great day, Panthers, and like always, continue to raw.